All right, guys. Well, it's Friday. Free rights and woo. I was out a little bit this morning, uh, cleaning up the shop a little bit, as you guys can see. It's a little bit more cleaner. Got the floors all nice and swept. So I assembled the uh, the plow setup last night. Worked out really good. Looks nice too. Um, so that's gonna be a nice little attachment for the house, aren't I, guys? But uh, man. It is just unbelievable right now. It's 1038, 52 degrees. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? It honestly feels like 48 degrees out. I am literally in my freaking winter jacket here. Not winter, but I mean, that's just freaking dick. I shouldn't be in my freaking a freaking jacket in mean, freaking September. So I honestly, I might have to break out the heaters today. I, I just might. I mean, I'm a friggin' stick, and I need my heat somewhere right, right in there someplace. Right. Where is it? I don't even see it. Oh, there it is, right there. So I'll have to friggin' dig that out a little bit. I should have about uh, a little bit more than half a tank of propane. So it'll be good to go. I am gonna be looking for a new uh, heater for the winter because if I'm gonna be be out here like last winter, I was out here probably about maybe three to four hours out of the day this year I'm gonna be out here you figure 1030 through I don't know, about seven possibly and just subtract some of the hours and stuff like that and I mean I'm gonna be burning through at least probably about maybe two to three propane cylinders a week um, so I might be uh, upgrading to a bigger one so it'll really heat the shop up nice um, if we, if I could put a wood stove in here, I would, I'd freaking put it right in this wall here. But, uh, due to insurance factors, you can't have a freaking wood burning stove in your garage, apparently in Massachusetts. Uh, well, at least it says it on our house insurance. Yeah, if, uh, if I could, I would. Um, it would have to be really up to code and everything, like, in order for the, for everything to freaking pass. And if they freaking find you got a wood burning stove in your garage, They'll just freaking cancel your insurance, you fucked. Um, we, we were gonna put a wood stove in here last winter, and the winter before that, you know, it's just way too expensive. Um, Cause you have to get everything up to code, you have to buy the real the real deal, you can't just friggin' make a bender stove like Pug. Um, so that kinda sucks a little bit. So, I think what my plan is, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna just Put these uh, cabinets on some saw horses right now. I'm gonna just paint up real quick with the spray gun and um, let them shoot for a little bit. Dwayne's gonna be here around possibly one o'clock. We're gonna go pick up uh, pick up some new equipment. I guess we're getting some new tractors. He's I know for a fact we're getting in one tractor today. It's a Murray. He's off to pick that one up in probably about an hour or so. Then he's gonna come back. He's gonna mow his yard and. He's got to uh, he's gonna go pick up the big trailer, and then we're off to Franklin to go pick up uh, go pick up some lawn tractors and some snow blowers. Friggin' right some woo. So haven't heard back from this guy yet. Um, I just have to wait and see. I, it's definitely got something going on in the bottom of this thing because if you listen, even if you turn the flywheel, he'll listen. Something's uh, something's going up in that bottom part. I mean, I've, I've, I mean, I've heard a lot of knocks, and this thing's got a fucking knock to it. So, I don't know. I don't know. Waiting for the owner to get back to me. I told him all the bad news yesterday. Just waiting for his decision. I hope. I swear. I hope he doesn't say friggin' you keep the snowblower because I honestly would lose money. You know, I would just have to sell it the way it is in order to get my money back. So, anyway. I think I gotta bring in the propane cylinder and we'll friggin' start having it out of this morning. Friggin' right some woo. Unfriggin' believable. Alright guys, we got the heat friggin' cranking. Yeah. Just got down placed in a little low ring there. That was what was causing everything to leak. Unbelievable. So we had to pull this tube out and replace the tube because it had a slight crack into it. So we got rid of that, and we got
got a new tube going up and in it. Uh, I put a new O-ring on the top of the tube right in there. So this is a done deal. We gotta just put the cover back on it and it's good to go. Friggin' rights and woo. Friggin' rights and woo. We got a nail. I have a feeling I know what it is. I think it's for the uh, for the leaf leaf blower that's over there. I was like, where the fuck is it? Um, I think it's the recoil cover, so I figured, what the hell? Everyone likes an unboxing video. I really gotta get a new knife. Caution. Oh, Jesus. Good packing job. Friggin' rights and woo. We got ourselves a new recoil. Briggs are starting power built. That seems to work good. Inside looks good. Now, I have a feeling all I need to do is just swap out the recoil. But, if I don't, that'd be even better. Because maybe all I gotta do is just swap over the, uh, the son of a bitch here. Let's see. Yeah, I gotta swap over the recoil just a little bit. So that's not a big deal. Just gonna undrill the rivets. And it's good to go. Sweet. Just gotta undrill those. Unbolt those, I guess. And put this on. It's good to go. Sweet. What about you? This is 98 power built. Good enough for me. It only cost 10 bucks, actually. The guy put it. No, I didn't put a slip in there. It was only 10 bucks. So it's a lot cheaper than buying a whole new recoil uh, off of parts tree, so save some money there. But um, yeah, we uh, Dwayne should be here in a little bit. Uh, we've got that Arians gone. The Arians guy came and picked that up. So get the uh, new stuff coming in later on. We'll see where it brings us. All right, guys. Well, we got a new shipment of uh, tractors and a snowblower in today. Uh, just went up with Dwayne a little while ago to pick them up and well we got one tractor that looks like it shouldn't even be a tractor anymore um, all the tractors that we bought except for one is all for parts we gotta strip them all down um, so we're gonna be that's good that's really good because up at the top bins up there are all empty we've sold so many parts this past week um, that's just been nuts. So we finally, everyone always asks us if we have motors. Well, we finally have motors. Um, so that's a good thing. Um, so I'll show you what we got going on. I'm just going to give you a quick heads up. Tomorrow, me and PJ go up to Harbor Freight Tools. Um, we're going to get some new equipment. I got a, I got a, uh, my welder broke the other day, so I have to get a new one. Um, I have the insurance plan on it, so that's not going to be a problem really. Um, so let's take a look at what we got. I'll show you over here first and we'll go into the backyard. Friggin' screw tractor land down in Connecticut. That line was off. This guy should just friggin' go to Pepper Cat Keith's backyard. Tractor chop shop. Well, first we have this uh, 12 horse IC uh, Briggs motor on a Murray chassis. Um, the steering on it, it's, it's a little, it's a little playful, we'll put it that way. Um, tires off its bead in the two fronts, um, and we have no clue if it runs or not. It's got compression, it's got spark. That's a plus, the seat's pretty nice, so we, we, I'm not sure what the plan is for this one. Dwayne told me to take the motor out and just sell the motor in the rear end. But I think I can actually uh, make it work if everything's uh, legit. I mean, we got two brand new belts here and a few other little lozenges here and there, but it's pretty nice. So let's go take a look at the other stuff we got. And this model is a 
Next up, we got this John Deere snowblower. This is gonna be my new, um, new little toy. I think for the winter. I think I'm gonna keep it. Um, me and Dwayne are gonna work out a deal. He said he'd probably sell it to me for 20 bucks. I'm not gonna complain. I like it. It's small. It's cute. Huh? It's cute. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna make it so that way it's nice. I'm gonna put some new uh, auger bearings in it. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it look nice. I'm gonna fix some of the rust. I'm gonna talk to Bill. Maybe get some new decals for it. Um, I mean, it's a nice little machine. It's only, I think, a three horsepower. And I sold my uncle a three horsepower last year, and the thing was the balls. Um, so we're gonna make this thing mint titties. So this is gonna be a fun little toy for the winter. I like it. Um, I don't know what's so special about that I like, but I like it. And we only, um, when we got it, when we were unloading it, uh, we shouldn't, we, it shouldn't even be called a John Deere, it should be called more of a John Mouse. There was a friggin' mouse running around out of it. So I imagine there's a mouse nest in there. Uh, I'll show you that one in a minute, but I'm not gonna get into it. Over here we got an Arians, really old one. Um, it's got a Tecumseh Enduro motor on it. Um, it's really old. We're only keeping it for the motor in the rear end. Um, it only has a differential in it, so there's no, there's no trans, there's no six speed. So, in other words, piece of shit. But it's got um, some nice MTD belts and stuff. I mean, uh, uh, springs on it, so that's a good thing. And that sold today, 280 bucks, free rights and woo. Um, we got this bagger for this uh, MTD yard machines over here. It looks like the Powercraft we got in a few months ago. Um, I'm not really sure what the plan is for it yet. It has one of these nice uh, twin motors in it, not like those pieces of shit opposed twins, but it's a nice twin. Um, so I know uh, I think this cylinder, the connection rod is broken on it, but this connection rod is good, so I'm not quite sure really what. What the deal is yet on it, uh, I'm gonna crack it open, see what's wrong with it on the inside. If it's a cheap fix, then we'll fix it. If not, then we'll switch to this tractor. Now this is the one that PJ was over. He was uh, driving it and decided to smash it into a wall. No, I'm only shitting you. <laughs> um, now this is how it came. The This is a uh, Husqvarna uh, LTH 1342. Um, and this is exactly how we bought it. Uh, very dickered. Extremely dickered. <laughs> um, I don't know really what the story behind of it is. All I know is it's completely snapped in half. <laughs> There's like two bolts holding it on, really. Um, so it's pretty nuts looking. And we actually, to get it off the, we, to get it on the trailer, we used a bobcat to get it on the trailer. I finally got to drive a bobcat. Freaking rights and woo again. It was just, I was just a happy day. Um, so I loaded it up with the bobcat and kind of sort of stoved in the fender just a little bit, but no big deal. Um, so we loaded that up and then um, to get it off the trail, I used Wayne's chain. I just towed it with the Husqvarna. I dragged it all the way in. You should see the freaking skid marks I left. Unbelievable. I mean, the the Husqvarna friggin' that thing's got some balls for towing. I mean, I fucking dragged the thing across the street. Dwayne was parked over, right around over there, and I friggin' dragged it from, if you guys can see the line, right there, all the way over, up and in, and then over and then in. Unbelievable. Nick Lachey, everybody, Nick Lachey. Friggin' right some woo again. Friggin' I, I got a steel in the garage. Anyway, so we got a nice mower deck off of it. Uh, probably gonna look at least for 80 bucks for the mower deck. It's pretty good shape. Mandrels in, in good shape, you know. So blades are brand new on it, pretty much. And this thing has a 13 horse uh, quiet motor on it. Um, so nice little, nice little deal. So yeah, still got compression, which is good. It's got spark, everything you know, the shits and stuff. But, um, but we just can't really quite keep it like that. <laughs> That's unsellable. That's it. That's all it is for a little rip. Now you such a big piece of duct tape, really? What the hell are they thinking? So, anyway, guys, there's the uh, new mowers and stuff like that. 
Um, I'm pretty excited about this John Deere. I don't know why. I like it. I like it because it's small and it's good for my shop. I just don't know why. It, but it uh, actually does work, believe it or not. It does fire up easily. You guys are probably like, yeah, fuck right. You just bought it. it. Ain't gonna fire up. Yeah, right. And that's pretty much about it. So it's definitely gonna need to be gone through. Um, I think the uh, wheels, the, I think it's got like one of them chain driven ones, so I think um, the chain's frozen up on it, I mean it, we had to drag it a little bit, but um, I like it, it's nice and small, and it's pretty cool. It's chicken for the handles, yeah, work good, work really nice actually. So, oh and we also got these, uh, these are the shoot for the bagger for the MTD there. Uh, then we have a bunch of these. Um, the guy said, "Here, just take them. Um, these are brand new Craftsman um, baggers." The guy said, "Here, just take them. They're brand new. We don't want them." So you can't, um, you can't freaking beat that deal. I'll stick these on uh, eBay or something. And I'll sell them. I mean, those are nice. We got how many do we have? We got one, two, three. Four. Got four of them, and uh, they're pretty nice shape. This one here, PJ could probably use for the, his uh, silver push mower that he has, because the bags aren't kind of shot. But yeah, not too bad deal. And then, uh, then Dwayne bought a few snow blowers. He's well, actually all these are Dwayne's right now, um, except for the John Deere. The John Deere is mine. Um, but all those are his. So in total today, we spent 300 bucks. Uh, for the two tractors, the Yardman and the, uh, what's the other one there? The Husqvarna. And then he bought four snow blowers, and they all run. Except for one one's got a hole, uh, a blown motor hole in the block, but no big deal. And then Dwayne got the two rear engine riders for 100 bucks. So all together it was a $400 a day. And it was pretty good. So Dwayne's got some snow blowers. Uh, we'll be working on probably next month. I, I keep telling him I don't want to be working on the snow blowers until at least, at least the end of October, beginning of November. Um, I gotta talk to the owner of this thing, see maybe he can get this thing out of here this weekend. Um, maybe you know take it, and then if he gets the parts in, I'll fix it there or something because this thing is taking up some serious room. I mean, we got four tractors we gotta bring in here. <sighs> Shut up, my bitch. So, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Um, so tomorrow's Harbor Freight. Sa Sunday, we're going to be stripping out the tractors. And today, I'm going to finish up this recoil. So, that's about it. I'm hungry. I want dinner. And it's... What time is it? Holy fuck. I haven't even looked at the time yet since I've been home. 5:12. So I was at I was with Dwayne. Me and Dwayne left at 12:30, I think it was. Yeah, 12:30. Wow. Damn. <laughs> that was something. But anyway, guys, till tomorrow. Keep on friggin' churchin' in the friggin' free world. Friggin' rights and woo. Oh yeah. Churchin'.